Hello, welcome to the service of morning prayer for Thursday the 27th of January 2022 from St. Luke's Eccleshill. To take part in morning prayer you'll need to have a Bible of your own so you can open it and read the Bible readings for yourself and ponder on them and assimilate their meaning in your heart. You'll need to have a way of pausing the video uh, so that you can make gaps for yourself to do that and listen to God instead of me. And we all need the inspiration of God's Holy Spirit, which we begin by asking for. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, King of the nations, to you be praise and glory for ever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be you, God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be you, God, forever. The opening canticle for the Epiphany season is Jubilate Deo, Psalm 100, and so here is a metrical version of that psalm. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth, worship the Lord with his gladness. Come before him with joyful songs, know him and banish your sadness. He is our maker, our God, strong to keep. He is our shepherd and we his sheep. Come to God with a song in your heart, enter his gates with The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Psalms which are set for us to worship God with uh, in today's service are Psalms 47 and 48, with a preference for 47 if you can only focus on one. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Uh, here is a sung version of that psalm. Praise, praise him all you nations. 
And you might like to pause and reflect on those two psalms, looking them up in your own Bible. Our reading from the Old Testament today is the 15th chapter of the book of Genesis, another personal encounter between God and Abraham. Please pause the video and read it yourself in your own Bible. A big focus on the covenant which God establishes with Abraham in that passage of scripture and we'll return to that in a little while after the New Testament reading. The New Testament reading today is the account of the arrest of Jesus in St Matthew's Gospel. Uh, it's Matthew chapter 26 verses 47 to 56. Please pause the video and read that now. Well, rather than focusing on the particular account of the arrest, uh, the point is uh, that this is part of the establishing of the new covenant in Jesus' blood, uh, which the New Testament points us to. So here is a song about the covenant and its uh, place in the scriptures and in our lives. Uh, the verses from God's words and the chorus, the uh, response of our hearts to him. Son of man now gives his life. 
life A ransom to heal the world of strife Drink of this cup, it is my blood which is poured I will not drink a drink again till all restored In this covenant I am betrayed That you may all reign with me brightly arrayed You will be our God, we will be your people Bought with your own blood shed for us upon the And so let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the covenant which has been established by you between mankind and God for many generations, and of which we are the heirs. We give you our thanks that it depends not on our faithfulness in keeping it, but rather on your faithfulness in establishing it. And we give you our thanks that it allows for the fact that we are sinners, and nevertheless binds us back to you. Help us to keep our side of the covenant by giving up ourselves in loyalty and service to you. But help us to remember that it is by your generosity that we are accepted into your kingdom. And we cannot jeopardise that simply by our own mistakes. Help us to rely on your covenant with us and to keep close to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, our Lord God, we would clap our hands, rejoice, be joyful, and give you our gladness of our hearts in thanksgiving before you. Help us to take a line out of the Psalms and to praise you with all that we are for all that is good that you've given us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so let's put before God the things which are particularly on our hearts. Please pause the video while you pray in your own words. The Collect the Special Prayer for the week after the third Sunday of Epiphany. Almighty God, whose Son revealed in signs and miracles the wonders of your saving presence, renew your people with your heavenly grace, and in all our weakness sustain us by your mighty power, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's pray in the words Jesus taught his first disciples, our Father. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may Jesus, who gave up himself for us, be King of our hearts forever. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.